The next feature we're going to take a look at is clip watermarking. What clip watermarking does is allows for a watermark to be applied to exported AVI MP4 clips. In order to set it up, we're going to first go to the setup tab and then system values. And if we go to clip preferences on the left hand side, you'll see that we now have a watermark section. I'm going to go ahead and add an image to be used as a watermark by clicking the green plus. And we'll choose the Victor logo here. And of course, it is important to remember that your image must have a transparent background. If we select open, you see that that image has now been imported into Victor. I'm going to go ahead and check the enable watermarking box. And you'll see that we can also select the transparency of the image by using the slider. You'll also notice an enable native support checkbox. Because clips can only be overlaid on MP4 or AVI clips, this checkbox, if selected, will also allow people to export native clips that are not watermarked. If you don't want your users to be able to export non-watermarked clips, uncheck the box. And I'm going to go and save and close that. So now what we can do is we can create a clip and show the watermark. So if we open up the surveillance view of our Luster Flex, we'll jump back in time by a minute. Set that as our start time. We'll jump forward in time by 30 seconds, set that as our end time. And we'll export the clip. And you can see we have some new options. So for a start, because we uncheck the enable native support checkbox in system values, the native button is now greyed out. You can also see on the right hand side a watermarking video checkbox. We're going to change the location of where we're going to export this clip to, to my desktop. And then we'll go ahead and export it. Once that's finished we can go to the desktop and we can see our clip with a watermark.